Cults on the Sacred Heart Devotion. So it's going to, actually, this is, this gets uh, back to the exact same question as before. So maybe I'll, can I undo this to bring it back? There you go. So let me just rephrase this. Um, so there, my major premise is going to be separating the natures of Christ as an historian. Second is going to be the sacred heart is separating Christ's humanity from the single hypostasis. Ergo, Sacred Heart is an historian. So that is how their argument is going to go. And again, this is going to be questioning, what do we mean by separating? If by separating, we mean a certain uh, distinction that we can make. So, for example, the holy face devotion and uh, in contemplating the face of our Lord, the sacred heart devotion, contemplating the, the sacred heart of our Lord and directing our adoration towards that. Of course not. We're not we're, through that. We're not separating it. What Nestorius was being condemned for was that Nestorius uh, um, would venerate the humanity of Christ as a second subject so he's going to separate his worship into that second subjectivity right there whereas when it comes to uh, our adoration of the sacred heart it's not as a second subject but that is the heart of god that we're that we're venerating so it's the single subject the single subject of god that we're keeping and just with different modes of predication uh just as um if let's say you write a love poem for your wife and you talk about her beautiful face, you're not separating her face out from the rest of her and she wouldn't get offended and say, Hey, you don't think, uh, you don't think I'm beautiful. You don't love me because you were talking about my face. That that's, that's, uh, extremely silly. And, um, yeah, the Orthodox 